Hey everybody, welcome back to another Nancy Drew review. This time we are talking about uh, the 12th Nancy Drew book, uh, The Message in the Hollow Oak. This one uh, started out, I thought I wasn't going to like it. Um, it was feeling a little sexist in the beginning. Nancy, and kind of throughout in a way, it stayed, but I got lost in the story. It is one of the, it is a very good story. But, you know, it's where Nancy seems to have more independence in some of the books. This one, she definitely had to ask her dad's permission. She couldn't travel alone. Just a bunch of tiny little things. And they kept bringing up girl detective, which always gets under my skin just a little bit. She's an amateur detective. She can be a teen detective even. But when her gender comes into it, I get a little snippy about it. Um, but this book uh, is set mostly in southern Illinois. Uh, the River Country, uh, Cairo, Illinois, actually, which is fantastic tie-in to American Gods, which I'm super into right now. It was always one of my favorite books, so now it's a TV show, and Cairo's popping up in more than one place in my life right now. Um, so the River Delta farming region in southern Illinois, that um, between the rivers. Uh, she is... Not even really commissioned. This is more of a lark for her. Uh, she picks up her Aunt Eloise, summons her to New York in the beginning to meet with one of her detective friends, uh, who is a police detective professionally, but is also an amateur kind of hobbyist detective. And he and his buddies weren't able to finish solving this um, historical mystery of a priest who was traveling among the Algonquin Indians uh, when the, according to the book, when the Iroquois invaded. I'm not entirely sure how historically accurate all those parts are, um, but uh, the, this priest was supposed to have hidden a treasure uh, message inside of a hollow oak that most people believe leads to a treasure. So um, he wasn't able to finish because mostly they were making some progress, but he ran out of vacation time. So he sees if Nancy will pick up the case and she agrees to. Um, originally, none of her friends can go with her and her father won't let her, but she does... Um, find out through Ned, her beau, that he has a cousin who's working on an archaeological dig down in that area. And um, she's able to get Nancy accommodations in this farmhouse where the group of students and the professor who are doing the dig are stationed. And, uh, you know, so the, and that allows her to go since she's accompanied and not alone. There's a little bit of romantic tension. There's a boy named Art who <laughs> develops a crush on Nancy and then when Ned and Dave and Bert and George and Bess all show up after they're able to get away from what was keeping them from helping Nancy in the first place, Art has a, a little bit of jealousy issues going on, but it all works out because they all pair off in the end. And Ned's cousin, Julianne, they, uh, she and Art make a cute couple towards the end. But uh, it's, like I said, this is a good story. It sucked me in. Um... It was the only one I wanted to keep reading. I didn't like when I had to put it down about a chapter away to uh, go back to work after a break the other day. Um, of course, Nancy solves the other day. This one has a lot more just suspense. The villains are a little bit more evil than sometimes. Um, so just a really, really fun read. Um, like I said, I haven't checked the historical accuracy of the region for this and now I'm really curious to research too when the um, illustrations were added or if there were illustrations when the originally published in the 30s and then when they recopyrighted and reformatted everything in the 70s if that's when um, because the illustrations definitely don't feel as old but it is a little bit more she's a girl she needs accompaniment she needs protection um which she visibly chafes against. So that was kind of nice to see too. So, all right. Well, if you guys have anything to add, if you've read this one, if you remember it, thoughts, let me know. Cheers.